Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the epidemiology and etiology of Parkinson's disease. Thanks to COVID-19, we now know that epidemiology means the study of a disease and its prevalence in the population. This graph demonstrates the prevalence of Parkinson's in the UK per 100,000 of the population. On the bottom, you can see different rankings of age. From this information, we're able to say some pretty certain things about Parkinson's. The first thing that we can say, if we look at this curve here, which is the, men, the male curve, is that we can see that the prevalence increases with age, going right the way up to its peak of around 80 to 84. And we can see that also that's similar for women as well, that as the patients age, the prevalence of Parkinson's increases. We can also see from this that Parkinson's mostly affects men. We can also say that looking down here in the under 40s, it's quite rare for patients to actually have Parkinson's, although they do exist. And there's only generally four or five per 100,000 of population that actually get that. The peak of diagnosis, as we can see, is around the age of 50 when people start to get those early signs of Parkinson's and start to get picked up. And then as they progress through those stages, picking up Parkinson's gets a lot easier and therefore the curves start to rise. You can see here that something interesting happens at about 80 to 84, the prevalence kind of levels off. And a few reasons for that is that one, not a lot of patients with Parkinson's you will see past the age of 80, as a lot of them unfortunately die due to complications of the disease, which we'll cover later in this presentation. Also, as patients age, and get tremors or get dementia, it's harder to pick up Parkinson's as well. And that creates it being quite difficult to diagnose in the later stages of life. In the UK currently, there's approximately 121,000 living with Parkinson's. But if we're looking forwards in about four years, this is set to rise to 168,000 in the UK with Parkinson's. So there's a pretty good chance that within your career or within the next few years, you're certainly going to be looking after patients with Parkinson's or you may, as, you may well have already. Etiology is the study of a disease. And what we're looking at here is what are the actual causes for Parkinson's? And Parkinson's is something called an idiopathic neurogenerative disorder, a bit of a mouthful. But what idiopathic means is basically, we have no idea what actually causes Parkinson's. And we think that it might actually be multifactorial. There's probably a few things that contribute towards Parkinson's. The first thing that we know is there is some genes out there that contribute to developing Parkinson's. And if you talk to a patient with Parkinson's, they usually have or can have somebody in their family with Parkinson's in the past. And this is generally about 10 to 15% of patients report a family history of Parkinson's. There's approximately 23 Park mutations of genes that can happen that go towards contributing to Parkinson's. And probably the most common one that we need to be aware of is something called LRRK. Um, and younger sufferers are generally going to have this gene mutation. It's the most common and it affects about one in 100 people um, are thought to carry this mutation who have Parkinson's. It's more common in the African and the Jewish populations. And if you have this gene mutation, you've got about a 70% risk of developing Parkinson's by the age of 80. Another one of those multifactorial aspects of Parkinson's is the environmental factors. And there's been a bit of research in this that can contribute towards Parkinson's. The first thing that they think is might be pesticides that we're putting on our foods um, within farms. And the reason for this is that they've noticed that the prevalence of Parkinson's has increased the amount of pesticides that we use. So they think that pesticides might be a cause as well as herbicides as well. Use of heavy metals as well, things like iron, copper, lead, aluminium and zinc all seem to have some kind of association with Parkinson's as we started to use more of these metals in manufacturing but also in preserving our foods there's been a rise in Parkinson's as well and there's a strenuous link um, between aluminium, Parkinson's and dementia in that as we've been starting to can our food, there has been an increase within Parkinson's and dementia diagnosis as well. The last thing that they think can contribute towards Parkinson's is mental health, and that's having mental health issues or illnesses. Things like depression, anxiety, psychosis can all, all contribute to having Parkinson's. And on the flip side, you sometimes see that patients who've had these also develop those and they get worse symptoms as they have Parkinson's as well. 